we get much higher. So high. I'm Gloria and I'm Maddie. Welcome to our special Grandparents Day edition of The Pulse. We're glad you could join us. Today is a mini episode of The Pulse, our school's TV show. On today's show, we'll feature our Teacher of the Week and we'll ask students about their grandparents. Up first, recently The Pulse students took a class trip. Here's Naomi with what happened. A while back, the Pulse class went on our focus day trip to downtown Toronto. We visited a TV station and saw how they filmed, and then we went to go see a cool new invention that was about to hit the market. Every once in a while, a revolutionary product comes along that changes everything. I'd like you to meet the Bubble Cam. We started off by visiting the Bubble Cam headquarters, where the creator, Sean Ramsey, gave us a tour of his office and showed us how to use his camera. The Bubble Cam is a camera with four different lenses that can shoot in 360 degrees with no blind spots. Think about Google Street View cars, except it's the size of a baseball. The camera is controlled from your phone and can take photos, HD videos, and can be used for virtual reality. This makes it useful for real estate photos, rescue operations, concerts, and other events extreme sports, tours, and many more. And best of all, it's affordable. After that, we headed over to City TV where they filmed City Line and Breakfast Television. We got to see their studios, their editing rooms, and their control rooms. All in all, it was a great experience and we had a great time. For The Pulse, I'm Naomi. Well, this morning, we heard grandparents talking about their grandchildren. Now let's hear from some students. It's time for Person on the Street. What did your grandparents teach you? Well, my grandmother taught me how to knit, but then I gave up really quickly. Uh, never give up and always believe in yourself. Uh, I had a wonderful, wise grandmother, and one of the things that she taught me that I often remember is um, that uh, no matter if everybody in the world disagrees with you on something, that doesn't mean you're wrong. She meant to say, if you believe in something, um, Stick to your guns and be yourself. So, Thank you. To knit and crochet and to not be rude to my elders. <laughs> my Oma taught me how to make cookies properly because I messed them up once and she got really mad. We lived close by, we lived on a farm. So my grandfather would say never ride the cows they wouldn't milk very well if we rode the cows. Um, in fact, she would get very upset because we did enjoy riding cows. <laughs> However, more importantly, he was um, a very um, devout man and so he was very much love the Lord your God, walk with him all the days of your life. That was certainly um, what he imparted on me in a very strong way. He was a strong patriarch um, and he did enjoy a good time, a good laugh. That's my grandfather. Thank you. Um, to stay true to myself. He said, if you're ugly, just study harder. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> um, I'd probably tell them not to worry about little things because in a few years it won't matter. If I was a grandparent, I'd say to my grandkids, stay off drugs and don't party too much and get your work done because in the future it will pay off. Uh, stay in school, be smart, learn stuff, or else. Lots of learning. Yeah, learning is good. Go yes. to a good university. Yeah. Get a good job. Go to TD Christian. Uh-huh. Advertisement. 
Very important. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if I was a grandparent, I would tell my grandchildren to party a lot because you only live once and get that lucky man. We'll be right back after this commercial. Where did everyone go? Thanks to Matthew Vanekamp in grade 10 for getting us that bumper with Elizabeth May. Our final segment today is where we find out about one of the teachers here at our school. I wonder who will be our Teacher of the Week. Favorite ice cream? Cherry. Favorite color? Orange. Best friend in high school? Derek Van Solen. What was your first thought when you found out you were Teacher of the Week? Uh, just uh, honored. <laughs> what did you want to be when you were growing up? I did want to be a teacher or a PGA golfer. Why did you want to be a teacher? Um, I enjoy uh, just hanging out with uh, students, just uh, hanging out in the gym especially, and it's, uh, it's a fun job. It's a dream job. What do you teach at TD? I teach uh, physical education for grade 9, boys, and uh, grade 10, Canadian history. How long have you been teaching at TD? This is my first year. And what's the best part about teaching at TD? Just hanging out with the students. It's a lot of fun. Uh, just interacting with them and uh, just being a part of their lives. What high school did you go to? I did go to TDCH as well. Who was your favorite teacher in high school? Uh, I liked all the teachers, but if I'd have to pick two, uh, I'd be Mrs. Templeton and Mrs. Van Cheppen. And why? I just enjoyed being in their classes and they, uh, they taught me well. How would you describe yourself as a high school student? <laughs> uh, probably a pain. Why? Uh, I talked a lot in class. Uh, I, I, apparently I never shut up, so <laughs> I was a pain. <laughs> is this strange teaching with your former teachers? It is a little weird. It was weird at the beginning. Uh, it's getting better now. Uh, I enjoy it. I, uh, I, I like hanging out with them, so it, it's getting better. And what do you plan on doing over the summer? Uh, getting married. To who? Uh, Leisha DeWeird. Cool. Uh, favorite car childhood cartoon? Oh, I really enjoy The Simpsons. <laughs> um, favorite sport? Uh, baseball. Favorite holiday? Uh, Christmas. Pet peeve? Um, people who chew with their mouth open. What's one thing you have to say to all the students at TD? Uh, continue being who you are. It's a lot of fun here. I enjoy hanging out with you guys and uh, thanks for being you. I'm Mr. Buseman and you're watching The Pulse. Well, that's our show. Thank you for watching and spending the day with us. To see our full shows, you can just go to the video page on the school's website. We'll be back with our next full show in just a few weeks. Bye-bye!